May the 4th be with you. I'm wearing my Star Wars Day shirt. It says, Yo soy tu padre. Star Wars Day for everybody. Episode 50 of the Morning Mug. Let me look at you. Episode 50. Oh my, we made it. Oh, 50 mornings of getting up, talking to you, you guys listening to me, at least a core group of about 20. Um, that's what it looks like on my uh, views on, on the YouTube. Woo -woo. Um, let's get business taken care of, our normals, and then we'll get to some other things we should talk about. Um, sorry for the lawnmower slash weed whacker in the background. It was nice and peaceful and beautiful, and I hit play to start and... Woo -woo -woo. Oh, well, um, birthdays, celebrity birthdays. Let me get, I need a production assistant that just does the playing and I can just be the face of the morning mug. <laughs> and now to your news. Celebrity birthdays today, 1796, Porous man, educator, advocate for public schools, 1929, born this day, Audrey Hepburn. Born in 1959, Randy Travis. And other celebrity birthdays, Anna Gosteyer, Will Arnett. Oh, both SNL alums in the way I said that. Will Arnett. Anna Gosteyer. Oh, and also for the NSYNC people out there, Lance Bass. Happy birthday, Lance. Um, this day in history, 1979, Margaret Thatcher is elected. Uh, to the position of Prime Minister, first female in Britain, uh, to, to hold that position. Uh, the premiere, or the, the first time Edison's phonograph was shown in 1878. In the 1950s, on this day, Anne Frank Foundation, Anne Frank Foundation was founded. Um, today is Pound Cake Day, Hug a GI Day, Grammar Day. Marching Music Day! All right, so some John Philip Sousa is going in the playlist. Yeah, Marching Music Day. Um, Star Wars Day. And did you know that there's another day that's sometimes celebrated as Star Wars Day? That's May 25th. That's when the first film was released in theaters in 1977. Some call today, May 4th, May the 4th be with you, as Star Wars Day. And then May 25th as Geek Pride Day. You don't need to be ashamed if you're a nerd, if you're a geek. I was raised on Star Trek. And watching This Old House and the New Yankee Workshop on PBS. I am not ashamed. <laughs> when I was a teenager, I was probably a little embarrassed. But yeah, and I was, I was a Star Trek and Star Wars raised kid. But I'd say the emphasis is more on the Trek side. Not gonna lie. Next generation. Patrick Stewart. Mm saying and, I, and I'm and I'm okay with it I'm okay um, so day 50 I have made it through without repeating a mug <laughs> um, yeah travel mugs count absolutely they count um, I need your help for the next 50 I want to see if I can do it so far I have three three I need more help me Send me a picture of your favorite mug. You can send me multiple. You can send them to Hetrix. Make sure there's an S in there. HetrixMorningMug at gmail.com or on the Twitter, on the Insta at Ms. underscore Hetrix. Send me pictures of your mugs so I can have the daily mug feature. Because I, I am not buying more mugs. Um, I, I want to respect social distancing and not do swaps of mugs. So I want to talk about you. Give me those mugs. Um, we had, because it is Mystery Month, right? We had a 
Two Minute Mystery yesterday was about a dog. Um, the title of that one, The Case of It's a Dog's Life. So go back to episode 49 if you haven't gotten to hear it yet, because spoiler alert, I'm going to give the answer. Okay, so... Okay, so I'm going to read the last little bit of, of the story. The detective frowned as he looked at the mirror. There was something odd about it. It was concave, reflecting virtually the whole room. Immediately behind him was an open door. He wandered through it and found himself in a spotless kitchen. He took a quick inventory. The dog's bowl full of dinner scraps by the scullery, a hanging rack of utensils, and an enormous stove. Ah, detective, there you are, the constable bustled in. I think we've done our duty here. Shall we be going? Howard, the detective replied seriously. All is not what it seems in this place. What made Detective Nose suspect foul play? So, earlier in the story, Mr. Falconer claims that his dog is always hungry. So, although he claims the dog's always hungry, it has not touched the dinner scraps from the night before. Dogs have the amazing ability to, to scent, to, with their heightened sense of smell. Um, the dog detected the poison, even though it is undetectable to the human nose. The dog knew better. So there it is. All uh, right, so what? I am gonna mix some things up here. Okay, so thinking about the last 50 days, my first broadcast of this was on March 16th. And every day, including weekends, I've been here, you've been here. Um, and at first I was like, oh, this is something cute. But I realized it's just as much for me as, um, as for all of you. So my last mug to share is another one from Four Diamonds. And you might remember early on, talked about the Four Diamonds and such a great organization and the Four Diamonds. Courage, wisdom, honesty, and strength. And I remember saying in that episode, hey, I need to chew on that a little bit. I need to to think about what those things mean to me. So, um, I've kind of done that informally and realizing that each of those four diamonds, courage, wisdom, honesty, and strength have meant something to me during this time. And I think our society as well. So if I'm thinking about this as a, creating a primary source for the future, um, those are going to be really important. So there's each of these diamonds through my glasses, what I see and what I see in, in others. Courage, um, definitely a certain times, you know, getting up, not necessarily having makeup on my face, not exactly sure what I was going to talk about. Um, to me that, that demonstrated to myself that I have courage in this capacity. Um, to put myself out there, to make things public, to ask for feedback. And I've, you know, gone back and watched some of the mugs and realized, oh, that's a mistake. That's wrong. That was poorly, uh, you know, poorly spoken. That's embarrassing. But, you know, having the courage to put yourself out there and the courage to say, you know, today's not the best of days the courage to say, I need help. That's been something I've seen a lot in our world. People saying, Hey, I, I need help. And there's nothing wrong with that. That doesn't make you weak. If you're asking for, for help and support, that's it. That's courage in my mind. Um, honesty, courage and honesty. Um, knowing that I'm a public figure in the sense of being an educator, I have thought about how I'm saying things. Not, I'm not saying politically correct, but just to be open and inclusive of all of all viewpoints on here. Um, but I've also had to be honest with myself about my shortcomings. Um, there have been lessons that I've posted for my students that afterwards I'm like, why'd you do that? That didn't make sense. I could be doing better. I have to be honest with myself, but also know that 
I'm still making a difference even if it's not full blown to the hilt every single time. You have to be honest there. You have to be honest about your feelings. Um, sometimes honesty can take us a little too far, I think. People hide in social media. They, they write things down and they don't necessarily think about what it means to other people. You need to be honest, but we also need to express it in a way that is kind and respectful. Wisdom. Oh my gosh. Been learning a lot. <laughs> um, a lot through reading, a lot through talking with other people, having Zoom jam sessions, and and staff game nights, and starting to learn what's important. You know, looking back on this, it'll be interesting to see, like, what does our world learn from this time? Will will we be different as a society? Will we be different for a little while and then revert back to what we were doing before? Um, you know, learning how to change the vacuum cleaner belt. Wisdom, baby. <laughs> um, every day has the opportunity that you can learn more and be more and do more. And that is fabulous. We're so lucky so lucky um and also with wisdom you know what not to do what not to say assume good intentions for the love of all things you know a student who was radio silent for weeks and realized he had just lost a family member put things in perspective that's wisdom um and strength strength physical strength my calves are a little sore from my five miler yesterday <laughs> um Emotional strength. Um, sometimes I get into funks that I'm just like, I can't believe that this is how we're living our lives right now. But um, also the strength that we got this. Failure is not an option. We've got this. We have to. So, you know, have the courage, have the honesty, the wisdom, the strength. Get your act together. But it's okay on the days that you don't. So again, I didn't, you know, I didn't really plan that out. Just kind of letting the, 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 the come out. Um, so I thank you for being on this journey with me. 50 days down, we're going to keep going. Um, send me your mugs. You know, um, and, you know. Hopefully some of the little tidbits over the last 50 days or just thinking about, you know, take courage, take wisdom, take honesty, take strength, put it all together, put that in your mug, drink it. Not in a bad way, not in a bad way, but um, figure out, you know, what, what you need to do reflection wise to continue moving forward. I failed at the journaling thing. I did not keep that up. <laughs> I failed at the walking five miles every day thing. I failed at the keeping the, the house in pristine condition. Um, but this, this, get this going. Okay, peeps. Now that I'm tearing, I have a meeting. Probably get ready for that. Figure out which Star Wars episode I'm going to watch tonight. Um, so until tomorrow, behave, be good, be kind, continue to recycle, send me pictures of your mugs, wash your hands, please, God, wash your hands, because I'd love to be able to do this for my classroom and not be stuck at home. Okay, whew, got all emotional. So... As I'm signing off, let's put on some happy music. This'll do it. There we go. Hold on a second. This was the towel I wiped the uh, deck table off with. All right. Beautiful day.
Oh, you are all the best. Miss ya. Care about you. And I will see you tomorrow. Maybe I call it the second season of the morning mug. Not sure. Um, but you helped me and hopefully I've helped you just a little bit. So 